strategic mission where we show that the 3rd Infantry Division can actually support our greater NATO allies uh, in, inside of Europe. Right now we're moving all this equipment, both wheels and tracks, moving to Port of Savannah, getting them on the vessels. Once we make the uh, movement to uh, the European theater, uh, we're going to download them there. At that point in time, we're going to make a, a massive convoy movement to show our strategic readiness and combat readiness to our allies of how we move across from one port to a staging area. This training remains significant and sophisticated. There's no substitute for this type of training. You cannot do it digitally. You cannot telecommute to battle. We need the forces on the ground to guarantee our combat readiness. The reception and facilitation of the onward movement of our forces requires the support and cooperation of tens of thousands of service members and civilians from across the Alliance. If the time ever comes, we will be ready to meet the call. This training demonstrates our ability to operate as part of a multinational, interoperable team, conducting one of the most complex maneuvers that any army can attempt, an opposed river crossing. With our Polish allies side by side, we bring the best of our armies together to accomplish this mission. The capabilities of the 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team and the Combat Aviation Brigade of the 3rd Infantry Division and the Polish 12th Mechanized Brigade greatly complement one another. More than 3,500 service members from eight nations converged on the Joint Multinational Readiness Center's Hohenfels Training Area this September for Combined Resolve 14. Now in its eighth year, Combined Resolve is a biennial multinational exercise that tests U.S. Army units and strengthens international interoperability. You, you bring your own tactics, your own gear, you try it in the field, you try it in the, the real environment, not, and actually that, that, is, that is our contribution. To it. 2020 has been nothing short of a surprise, followed by surprise, and that's really keeping it modest. However, the last 10 months, the Brigade excelled and supported a very unique opportunity to execute a strategic mission within the UCOM area of responsibility, successfully assuring our European partners and allies while aiding the deterrence of regional aggression. Selection for this difficult mission was both humbling and rewarding as we excel in representing this sort of division, the United States Army, and our great nation.